Okay, I want to show you guys something. I've not seen one of these before in new Super Duty. So this is a Lariat, but it's not an Ultimate. And it was interesting to kind of see, like, what is the difference in a Lariat Ultimate? Like, you know, you look at the, the sides of the doors, still B&O. I'm like, man, I'm not seeing much difference here. It still looks the same. But then you come here, I start looking at the, I'll pull this off. No, well, maybe not. Anyhow, the head, the head rust, this is not the Unleashed Stereo. So you don't get the speaker up here, you don't get the speaker in the headrests. Another thing I noticed when you don't get the ultimate is no heads up display. Okay, so that's another difference. The guy that ordered this one, he's really looking for a lot of seating, which is kind of cool. You don't see many new Super Duty Lariats with a bench seat. Also, what do you not get in a ultimate? No heated rear seats. So, if you're interested in a Lariat Ultimate versus a Lariat, you're gonna lose heated rear seats in a non-Ultimate. You're gonna lose the unleashed stereo system, you know, speak, uh, headrest speakers, no above. And you're also going to lose the heads up display. I'm sure there's a few other features I'm missing, but here's another thing I wanna show you guys. So, being that this truck is an F-350, you're gonna get the higher GVW for the truck. But this is the part that surprised me. So when you go with a long bed diesel, it jumps the GVW from 12,000 to 12,400. Okay, so now let's look at the front axle rating and rear axle rating. So front axle rating is 5,990 and the rear is 7,230. And you've got a GVW of 12,400. So when you look at all that, you'd say, well, you got 400 pounds more payload capacity with a long bed than the standard short box. But you've also got the weight that is part of being a long bed with extra frame, extra bed. So being that this is a lower-ish trim level, but it does have the sunroof, which just hurts your payload, I was surprised to see only 3,986 pounds of payload. Pretty interesting because my trimmer F350 short bed actually has 4,114 pounds of payload and it's a more, it's actually an ultimate, but there you go. So now I'm gonna add another variable that's really interesting. So now here is an F350 short bed, platinum. Now, when you get a short bed, all short bed F350 diesels, you're gonna get a 12,000 pound GVW. So see, you see the 12,000 pounds. But now compare the front axle rating, still 5,990, the rear axle, 7,230. So if you go front axle versus rear axle, obviously you always have more carrying capacity in the rear than the front. But now check out the payload, 4,054 pounds. So you actually have, this is a unique situation where someone can actually have more payload capacity with a short bed than a long bed. This truck has more capacity for carrying. Pretty interesting. All right, now let's compare the Lariat versus the Lariat Ultimate right off the bat. You get the unleashed speaker system. Two up there and then the headrests. You also get the heads up display. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you get the heads up display. Another nice benefit, heated rear seats. So just some, some things that, is it worth it? Is it worth it? To some it is, to some it's not. I like it, I mean, but it, it's all on what you want. Now here's the other thing I thought that was really interesting. If you look specifically back to axle weight ratings, a F350 non-trimmer has a 5,990 pound front axle weight rating, 7,230 right there, rear axle. So you add those two together, you can do the math, I'll add it up later. Now let's look at those numbers, okay? And now let's compare to an F350 trimmer. I was a little bit surprised by this, I'd like to like dig into this to figure it out, but the F-350 trimmer actually has a lower front axle rating. 
So you go from 59.90 to 5200, and your rear goes from I think it's either 72.50 or 73.50 to 7,050. So your actual total axle rating is a little bit lower on an F350 trimmer, but it doesn't impact your payload. Payload is still the same, but your axle rating is lower.